Welcome back. Uh, Eva Helps is joining us here because uh, we think that the best way to show your heart this Valentine's Day is, of course, with something that we make ourselves. Um, Eva, you're uh, uh, passionate about DIY, just like yes. I am. Mm -hmm. So uh, talk a little bit about uh, yourself for just a second. Just introduce you to people and kind of what you do in the area. Sure, so me and my husband are Helps Homestead. We have our own home decor um, DIY based business where we make things like some of these signs you see and I also host um, workshops which are DIY make and take workshops mm -hmm. so you can come get your hands messy and come DIY something yourself. So, What's kind of your specialty? So our specialty is uh, we do a lot of custom signs, kind of like that one in the background there, and this this little one up here. Um, lots so of wood. Have I love, a, I lots love of wood. Yes, wood-based wood things. As a people have a Pinterest vision, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Can you make this happen?" And that's what we do for them. And you make their dreams come true, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. And you're gonna uh, later on uh, uh, next week. You're gonna come back and talk about uh, this great event that you have coming up that you've yes. put on. But before we get to that, um, let's have you share with us a really great Valentine that we can make it home yeah. uh, and, and just in time for tomorrow. <laughs> just in time. Super simple. So you just take a two by four, cut it to, you know, whatever length. There's and 150 even, uses for a two by <laughs> there four. There is. There? <laughs> yeah, they'll even that. cut it at your local, you know, Home Depot, <laughs> Menards, whatever. Um, and then I have just pre-painted this for time's sake. So you'll just, just want to paint it. cut it into a smaller section is all. Smaller any size. section, any size. Okay. And the easy part of this is what you can do a lot of people use stencils, but if you don't have a stencil cutter, mm -hmm. you can just print something out from a regular printer and then take a pencil and just literally, you know, color the background in okay. to transfer the words. And then that's going to kind of act like the graphite paper that we can buy yeah. without having to buy the graphite yeah. paper. Super simple, nice. super home, super cheap. And then just trace over the top. The top. Okay. Whatever. I just thought I have be mine here, kind of like the little cute hearts that you can get for Valentine's Day. I thought that'd be a... Yeah, you can put all kinds of messages yeah, on there. Yeah, you could do a heart, you could do, well, like we have up here, the EXO. But so, if you'll see... Look at that! I mean, it just, maybe kinda it's kind of hard to see, see but it, a little bit it there. transferred there. We can see it just yeah, fine. Yeah, very and, nice. And another easy thing, if you're not... Because that's what a lot of people, because um, you could do some freehand stuff you could on do some here too very easily, but a lot of yeah. people like to have that nice clean look with their lettering and right. they're always, how do you get it so in, yeah, you can just yeah. do it with your computer. And then you can just grab some of these paint pens okay. anywhere if you don't want to try to freehand paint over that too, and then just color it on in. Yeah. And you can do multiple ones stacked up like we have there or just a a cute one here. Now, can you use um, like Sharpies and some other types you could of use markers? A Sharpie. You could use paint. It just might not be quite as pop a pop as on right. top of the paint, but yeah, even on a blank piece of wood without the paint on the background, you could color up any kind of design. And I thought just to make it a little a little cuter, you can get some of this twine here and um, tie it around with a little there. bow. So yeah, easy peasy. Very nice. That is Cute easy. Little Valentine's Talk gift. about some of the other things that you guys, and th what's nice about this is you can um, just kind of set it out on a tabletop, yeah. uh, easy display. You could it's add a little maybe back. an uh, eye hook or something and hang it too, which would be kind of fun. Um, talk about, you do a lot of signage, and so and I know that's kind of a hot thing right now. Everybody loves words and uh, different sayings and personalized. Um, talk about the process that you guys do, just for other ways to do stenciling or maybe um, lettering on things that people may have at home. Sure. Um, well, along with the, like I said, you can print out pretty much anything, anything you can make in Word or find on the internet, an image, mm -hmm. um, or you can even stop it. Uh, if you have some stencils laying around, you can use almost anything for a stencil. Like if you say if you want a heart, you have a cookie cutter, you could use that, or um, anything can be a circle. Um, and as far as lettering go, if you take the time and use a pencil, you know, you can freehand pretty much anything. And yeah. then and then tweak it to make it look how you want. So, and I love you know, and when we were working with wood, um, I like you can do a lot of different mediums on because it's a very durable surface. So if they wanted to wood burn, um, yes. or they could you know, they could decoupage, you know, cut out some. If you don't yeah. want a stencil, use you could just mediums. cut out the letters that are yeah. already printed out in a magazine or that, Absolutely. Uh, and kind of glue those on and paint around it. You could do lots of different. Uh, uh, Looks with it, you and could. I like and, and I like the fact that you kind of have it stacked um, yeah. on here, and you can you know create you could create a whole little assembly of grouping. Absolutely, kind of fun too. Yeah, 
<laughs> All right, let's talk about next weekend. Um, you have, uh, this is the first one. It is. And this is all you that has uh, started this. It's uh, the DIY or Don't Expo. It's right. coming to the Iowa Event Center. Talk about kind of your vision behind that and why you uh, thought this was an important event to put together. Well, like you mentioned earlier, the workshops are so popular right now. Everybody loves to DIY. They love to try new things. They want to kind of make their own story with their own unique um, custom pieces. And this gives you a chance to do that. There's going to be almost 50 make and take workshops over the weekend. So you can come try wood burning. You can come try making a painted sign. You could do string art. Um, there's even so a leather So this is a lot of yeah. hands on. A lot of hands on. That's the DIY part. And then there's or also the don't part. The don't part. <laughs> There'll be other local um, handcrafted, mostly vendors like myself mm -hmm. um, that will have products there. Already done. Already done that you can purchase. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, we look forward to hearing more about that. You're going to come next week and you're going to yes. showcase a lot of the different things that um, people will be able to make or see or purchase at, at the event. So we look yes. forward to having you back. You want to find out more information on that, go to DIYordon'tExpo.com. Eva, thank you very thank much. You. Uh, get your last minute Valentine's uh, gift put together here. Very simple. Thank you for Thanks. sharing this. <laughs> Stay tuned.